Hello again, everybody. Steve from Gigasheet here, and today we're going to be talking about how to automate data delivery using the Gigasheet API. So first, the Gigasheet API is here. It's fantastic. We are excited to announce it, that it is generally available. Contact support at gigasheet.com if you'd like more information on the API. Um, in general, though, the Gigasheet API allows you to automate all of the processes that you have been doing in Gigasheet before. So for this video, we're going to talk about what we did in the previous video when we had a master list of contact data, which I should again say this is anonymized contact data, but contact data in one giant file. And we want to apply a filter and deliver the results of that filter to a customer rather than a giant CSV um, be able to have that customer be interact immediately with that data set. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. And specifically, I've got this masterlist.json, 3.9 million rows, 26 columns, roughly two gigs of data. I can actually open it over here and you see exactly the data that's in it. City, company, date added to list, the email address, first late name, implied salary, and so on. If I open a filter, you'll remember that the um, company I was delivering filtered data set to was interested in solar panels in the Arizona area. So we were trying to call this list down, filter this list down to people on this list who match that criteria. So we did the state equals Arizona and the self-reported interests involved green roof, green energy environment, and so on. I have saved that filter as a save filter here in Gigasheet. And that save filter is going to allow us to uh, work with the Gigasheet API and automate the entire process that we talked about last time. The other part of this is as we go over to this other tab in an S3 bucket, I am provided with updates every month to append to the bottom of that master list. And that is very easy with the Gigasheet API to take in this case, the April update, and put it at the bottom of that master list. And I'm going to show you how that's done. I'm also going to say, this is not a code review. We have published a blog post to go along with this video. The blog post has all of the code in it. This is merely a walkthrough of what you can do with the API. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this automate share.py script, and I'm gonna talk you through exactly what it's going to do. So the first thing it's gonna do is it's going to go out to S3 and pull in that file we saw, that April update, and append it to the master underscore list.json. This is a standard Gigasheet process of uploading data via S3, but with the API, you can use a parameter to automatically append it to the bottom of a file rather than create a new file, which is pretty cool. In the background, what it's doing is it's using the combined file feature of Gigasheet. Um, but with the API, you can kind of skip that step. So this will just take a couple seconds to append to my master underscore list dot JSON. And you see that master underscore list.json is now 4.2 million rows instead of 3.9. And then it applies that save filter and creates an export in Arizona solar April update.zip. What that does is it takes that save filter and applies it to master list. And then it essentially does the save as feature with that, which is creating a new file called Arizona solar update. April update, which is actually a uses the export and then upload endpoints. So a new file has now been created, this Arizona Solar April update. The file has been shared and the library has been cleaned up. I can come into here into my master list.json, which previously was 3.9 million rows and now is 4.16 million rows. So couple hundred thousand records were added. I can come to my date added to list, which is a field in my data, and I can sort the sheet to see a bunch of data added in April 2023, which is now when I'm making this data set. 
I can go back to my library and I can open up that file that I've shared, that Arizona Solar April update. And I can see that this file is 10,000 rows, 10,546, specifically matching parameters that I had from that, say, filter. Cities are places like Mesa and Gilbert and Scottsdale and Phoenix and so on. And if I scroll over here, I see that the self-reported interests are the electronics uh, environment and um, green energy and uh, solar panels and so on. So the filter has been applied. When I press share, I see that it has automatically been shared with my Arizona recipient at gigasheet.com. So without having to do anything, this script just ran and automatically appended the new data to a file. It filtered that file, it created a new version of that file, and it's shared off that new version with my client who does not have to download anything. They, that person can now interact with this data natively. Now, like I said, this is not a code review, but I do want to go through some of the endpoints on how this worked. If you go to the Gigasheet API documentation, you'll see all of the various endpoints. And I want to point out that the S3 upload is this upload from URL. I want to point out that this list save filters is how you use save filters within a query. The get filter model for save filter is how you apply that saved filter to an existing sheet. There are two endpoints for the export, one to create the export and one to download it. So create, export, and download. There's an upload from URL. That upload from URL, like I talked about, is how we're going to take that export and create the new save as. It's the behind the scenes way of creating a new file within Gigasheet. By the way, target handle is the parameter to append rather than create a new file. If you put in a target handle, um, it will take your file and put it at the bottom of the handle of this target handle parameter. Otherwise, it'll just create a new file. And then on our GitHub page, our GitHub page has some code examples. And there, there's some examples of some endpoints. And it's there that it talks about how to share the endpoint for the sharing of a file. So really easily, you can see what we can do with this API. We can take data that has been um, shared with us in S3, add it to our master data set, keep it in our master data set while also creating a new file that can then be delivered to our customer. And it goes without saying that we can have as many of these as we want. So if we have 50 customers, we can apply 50 different save filters and create 50 different files to be shared with 50 different customers. It's a very elegant way to simplify and automate this process. We hope you look into it. Give it a shot at gigasheet.com.